Well, this is my second um, universal amp tester that I've built. You probably saw on my first one, it was a prototype. Um, you'll notice this one here now, I've actually just drilled out the holes for the inbuilt speaker. Um, there's also uh, the on-off switch, which is still the same. There's the, a switch there for to turn this particular speaker on, or an extension speaker. Uh, you've also got your volume control, and there's your output leads there, and also the other side, your, your input leads. Your input leads, you can actually put anything in there you, you like. Uh, you could test out old tone arms, magnetic coil tone arms, uh, to see if they're working. Stereo cartridges off of record players, just to see if you know if you're restoring radiograms such as myself, and uh, test things out. To, uh, even here, I've just connected up just a little film or little wonder crystal set just to uh, see what happens there. Uh, with, with the output here, obviously, you know, once again, you can test the old headphones, uh, old horn speakers, basically anything you want to sort of test, you, you can uh, try it. So uh, it only just runs on a 9 volt battery. I've had it running all day yesterday and uh, it still hasn't used anything out of the uh, battery. Uh, ideally, I would just probably add a, a number uh, rechargeable 9 volt battery to. Uh, you can just plug it into a charger and, and that's it. So uh, we'll turn him on and. Uh, the Sunday talk back gardening, Ashley Walsh and Malcolm Cameron. It's just coming out of the inbuilt speaker there. You need to know um, on air. And then we've got the volume control here. And then if we just flick the switch. We're just over here on this little Philco speaker. And then also, we can just sort of, with the aerial, which is just the tracking aerial, we can, uh, so there's a volume there. And we just move, move it around a bit. And we can also just come around here and move the slider. See what else is around. But this is the only error it's using. Um, so uh, I have picked up some fainter stations, but with obviously with a longer aerial, it'll be better. Let's just move that around a bit more. Up and running again as soon as possible. At this point in time, the system up and running.